this is the best area in the world to grow sweet potatoes. The world wants sweet what we grow. California is very blessed. We can take potatoes that are produced in other growing regions and grow them here in California, and nothing against other regions, but California's sweet potatoes taste better. I like to use the, the term heat makes sweet, and where we produce sweet potatoes here in California, it's hot, and they truly can develop a flavor profile you cannot find anywhere else in the country. I liken it to you know, a good Cabernet grape coming from Napa Valley, or a good Pinot coming out of Sonoma Valley, a good sweet potato comes from the Central Valley. There's about a 10 square mile patch of ground where the perfect conditions for growing sweet potatoes, quality sweet potatoes, not just looks, but flavor too. And that's right here in Merced and Stanislaus County. While the San Joaquin Valley might be the sweet spot for growing sweet potatoes, it's also a long way from home for the Vieira family. I was born in the Azores, island of Pico. I bought this company from my uncle, A.V. Thomas, in 1977. When he gave me the opportunity, I just embraced with all my, all my love, very hard working, and with the grace of the good Lord, we became what we are. We start with 10 acres. We work very hard out of one building, one packing line, one forklift, one tractor. Spending a lot of time with the Vieiras, I found them to be such humble people. But I did learn that A.V. Thomas Produce is now the largest sweet potato producer in California. We think that 480 million people love my sweet potatoes. And of course we love them too. I have the best employees in the world. That is one of the reasons what made what we are. And uh, they are with me for a long time. We fell in love with them, and I believe they fell in love with me. These are farmers. These are very honest and hardworking people. I have so many respect for any type of farmers, today more than ever. A.V. Thomas, has this great recipe for success. It's a team and a community-oriented mindset. The sweet potato community is very close. We pool resources in certain regards, whether it's information data, we're sharing how to grow better sweet potatoes so that as a group, we're all producing the best sweet potatoes. You know, we wanna make sure that if we're out there promoting a region as the best sweet potatoes, we want to make sure that everybody's producing the best sweet potatoes. Say the rising tide raises all ships, and that's how we approach promoting the commodity to families across the country. Today's shopper is looking for the best ingredients that they can consume, whether it's for health, whether it's for flavor, whether it's for aesthetics. And we can provide that now. And that's something that we couldn't say 10 years ago. So it's neat. I'm the second generation. My kids are the third generation. Now we have grand, grandkids also coming. And I hope it keeps going. I felt that my father worked so hard and we, we helped so many families with, throughout the community. And I felt like if I don't come back, maybe what, what, the, what is gonna be the future of our company? And I always knew that if I did come back, I'm gonna give it 110% and, and grab, the, the, grab everything, all the wonderful things my father did build and, and build from that and make it even bigger and better and um, be part of what we are now. One of the ways Carlos has expanded the legacy of A.V. Thomas is through his philanthropic organizations throughout the community. Recently, Carlos opened a brand new boxing and jujitsu gym as part of the Gloves Not Drugs campaign. The gym provides a free after-school program to local youth who maintain at least a C average in schools. I wanted to do something to help kids stay off of drugs. These are at-risk kids. It feels good to, you know, be successful, have a successful company, be part of the community, give back to the community, and then help people uh, everywhere with with the different uh, the different work we're doing.
My dad's, uh, my dad's hard work and my dad's organization, his passion for, for what he does is what he's passed on to me, you know? Do not think things for granted. Just work hard, do your very best. The relationship between farmer and chef cannot be overlooked when it comes to delivering the best tasting food possible. For a lot of chefs, there's nothing more important 